Well, this past week has been hot and humid. Air you can wear, as Ben Pine would say. Yesterday, we had the hottest day since July of last year. Now, relief is on the way. But we thought this would be a good time to take a look back. The WHAS 11 vault shows us heat waves of decades past. It's a ball of thermonuclear reactions about 93 million miles away. Without the sun's heat and light, life on Earth would be impossible. But when the sun's rays are coupled with certain weather conditions, it can be deadly to some, as we are well aware. It was July 1980, and the heat was not letting up. Some telling our reporter they'd rather be anywhere but here. There's the one city that you'd like to be in today rather than Louisville. Alaska, up in Knoll. Daytona Beach. <laughs> Las Vegas. Um, not Cincinnati. Funny thing, nobody mentioned 3419 Herman Street, and this is probably one of the coolest places in town, inside the Fork Ice House. This guy had the coolest job in town. Only 22 degrees inside his workspace, but still, even he was warm. The thing that still amazes me the most is, you're standing here with no shirt, I got a coat on. You're not cold? No, not right now. Across Metro Louisville, kids played in the pools trying to beat the heat. What are you doing to, to keep cool today? Just relaxing in the pool. Just sitting in the water, taking it easy. While well, the job wrapped up, back at the ice house. Because of all the traffic in and out of this room today, they're having a heat wave in here. It's why well, it's almost 40 degrees in here. If gets any hotter, they're gonna have to turn the air conditioning on. I'm Ned McGrath, and that's life in the ice house. Fast forward to 1983. It was a different heat wave, but fun in the sun for some. While you couldn't exactly fry an egg on the sidewalk today, a live hot dog on a PR blitz through Louisville said it was really sizzling out there. I have to take the costume off and rest my buns every now and then, and that cools me off. But not fun for all. Continued hot and humid for right now it's sunny and 96. Warm and humid tonight. Chuck Olmstead covering a more serious side to the harmful heat. Today's cooler weather was a welcome respite from the heat, especially for many elderly who could be found venturing outdoors again. It's the first day in more than two weeks that the temperature is dipped below 90. Community fans were running out and temperatures had reached deadly levels. And in an effort to avoid more heat-related deaths this summer, the state tonight says that about $275,000 in leftover heating assistance money from this past winter will now be freed up to buy thousands of fans for low-income families throughout Kentucky. During that same system, our reporter studied the science behind the sun and found some advice for those struggling to cope. Okay, so we know that stifling heat contributes a great deal to stress. So what should we do? Go down a few cold beers and relax? I don't think alcohol would be a very good thing right now. Again, we want to talk to our doctor about it, but this is not a time to be drinking a lot of alcohol because obviously that heats our system up. Leaving listeners with some parting advice we think still stands today. Suffer or cope, it's up to us. Tom Ben Howe, Action 11, 19. Every Sunday night, we're digging into the WHAS 11 video archives, finding the stories of our history that make Kentuckiana so special. You can see more historic footage from the WHAS 11 vault right now on WHAS11.com.